Well, hello and welcome back to Elden Ring. Thank you for being here in part 30. And first things first, if you would like to skip the recap, go to the following time. Part 29 once again begin at the Rampart Tower Grace, where we drop down to the rooftops again, this time going across the castle eastward where we picked up the soldier's crossbow, then drop down to the bluffs below the ramparts to kill some ballista folk and grab the arbalist. After that we went into the larder, which had a horrible rat infestation. But we managed to get them cleared out after some effort. And picked up the fireproof dried liver, then opened the next imp statue door, which led to the Godslayer seal and the Godskin prayer book. The path, turns out, led to a spot perfect for getting the drop on some more ballista men, one of them quite literally, and another by spells. After clearing them out, we headed into the gateside chamber where the portcullis is raised and lowered, which had a commoner simple garb, and the gateside chamber grace. Then we found the true guardian of the castle, a giant lion with a knife arm, who told us he likes us by hitting us with it. So we told him we liked him too, then took his blood. Turns out he wasn't so much guarding the castle as a whole, but rather the bridge to the Limgrave Tower specifically. Now that he wasn't guarding it, we moved down the bridge and found the Limgrave Tower Bridge Grace and the Bolt Drake Talisman. Finally, we finished the episode by killing three golems further down the bridge, ignoring a teleporter whose purpose is lost on us until we kill Godric, and then realizing there was pretty much nothing to see in the door of the courtyard at the beginning. Well, and welcome to part 30. It seems like uh, the NVIDIA broadcast is cutting out the squeaks. Hopefully that continues. My dog Dax is in the room with me because uh, I have some relatives visiting and they have a very small pup. And Dax is not vicious, but he doesn't understand that it's a much smaller pup and he can't play with it the same way he does with the bigger dog. And also, uh, I think Dax is trying to change it from play to procreation. So, trying to keep them separated. And to bring it back to the game, I think you've watched me kill all of these guys like five times now, and you probably don't need to do it at six, so I'll save you the trouble. But also this episode, it's night time. I did an ill-advised thing and took a medicine that makes me really hyper eight hours after I should have. So I'm going to be up really late today, and then I'm just going to be drop dead tired at probably about three in the morning. That was rude. I don't... I don't like that. Okay, we're now four minutes into the recording and I'm gonna try voicing some coherent thoughts. It's daytime now. But what we're gonna do is we're going to explore the entire rest of the castle. And however long that takes is how long it takes. And if I need to, I'll split it into however many episodes I need to. And I believe I said that the next time we played, I was going to be going down this side, so we will do that first. You missed. You suck. Wait, don't do that. Oh. I'm sorry, you're awesome. Oh, jeez. It's too late. You said your words, you meant them. That's how that eagle talks. Hawk. Sorry, not an eagle. Be neat if there were giant eagles in the game too. They're like twice the size of those. It was just like, sub bro, I'm an eagle. Also, I've decided to uh, go this way again to get my runes back and also to talk to a person and get revenge 
on those birds. Don't do it again. Don't be that guy. Oh, he's that guy. Why do you gotta be that guy? He's like Eustace Bags, but without any appreciation during the hard times. You know, because there's some episodes of Courage the Cowardly Dog where Courage saves the family and then Eustace is like, you're a good dog. That guy? No. Like, the danger comes and instead of thanking him when he tries to help, he's like, get out of the way and kills him. Dude's a piece of shit. Here we go. Oh my god! Don't. Not again. <laughs> Stupid hawk doesn't know how to fly higher. Just like your brother over there on the big roof. Okay. Now back up the steps to take care of the straggler. I'm over here, bud. Big fella. I wonder how tall Dax is now. Because he's one year old. He seems pretty tall. But according to... According to all the sites I've looked at, that talk about Shepweiler tendencies and growths when they mature and all that. Which I'm pretty sure he is, by the way. I think last time I just said he was a German Shepherd, but I'm pretty sure he's a Shepweiler. Uh, which the mixed breed of German Shepherd and Rottweiler actually gets even larger than their parents. So he could potentially get up to 27 inches tall and weigh 130 pounds. He's pretty much already a full-sized dog, but only a year old, so that's that's kind of uh, what I'm working with when I say I have a handful with him. Oh my god! It helps to talk about random stuff when I'm trying to, to fight something I'm not good at fighting. <laughs> Whenever I'm trying to get something difficult done, it helps to talk about something that's not related. You know, like going to the bathroom and playing on your phone. I'm proud. You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of muster. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. Hello. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. No. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. Agreed. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Indeed. I plan to go through her entire story during this playthrough. Does she say one more thing? Apologies. As no. I figured that was her last line of dialogue in this spot. And I was correct. Now, I wanted to talk to her, but also I mainly just came over here to get my runes. Because I do want to go down the path I said I was going to go down last time. How do you open this? 
because the freaking the omen couldn't get it done like I had him hit this with his fist I had him stomp on it kick it hit it with his sword like none of it actually broke it maybe these guys are how you get it open you have to like get them to throw at you at such an angle that they hit the barrel with the I don't know I'm just spitballing here Let's see here Get in. Ouch! Oh no. Oh no! The other bird killed him with the barrel. Rude, you killed your brother. Zachary, you, you leave Zeke out of this. <laughs> Man. Those points into intellect have really been helping. Spell actually does fairly decent damage now. Almost does as much damage as a scythe swing. I think fully charged it does more, actually. <laughs> nice. Okay. Alright, Zachary and Zeke and... Uh, Z. <laughs> They're all gone now. I wanted another Z name, but I couldn't think of one, so he's just Z. Oh my god, I forgot about the kamikaze bird. Oh, and he didn't even kill himself. Wow. Yeah, at one point I knew that guy was there, but... I forgot. Whoops a daisy. Well, now that I know that this is actually good now. I'll just do that. <laughs> That's all we need, right? Just something that works. That does not do almost as much damage as the scythe. The scythe is like one-shotting them with a light one-handed attack. And a fully charged one of these takes a little over half their health. So not one-shotting. It's a little it's not the same. There we go. That's what we want. Smithing stone too. Still listening to that audiobook of Lord of the Rings. Right. Or actually, no, I've moved to the second book, The Two Towers. And uh, the voice actor reading the book it does a really terrific tree beard it's so great rob inglis that's his name sorry he just he i was talking about it and he did such a terrific job that i wanted to wanted to name him the mod wooden shield there's a shield tab, I keep forgetting. We got the marred leather shield earlier. Also causes 50 blood loss buildup when you use it to attack. A wooden shield of Stormvale soldiers, much like the castle, it is marred by mottling and thorns. Some say it is the curse of grafting which causes such affliction, while others talk of its routine being something altogether more sinister hidden deep within the castle. 
Yeah, we already killed it. Right? Hello? Is there anyone down here? Why are there so many ostriches? Okay. Okay. It's a good thing they negated fall damage with scripting there. The Ash of War Storm Assault. Oh, that's the one the Halberd Windy Boys do where they, like, whirl the wind around them and then jump up in the air and slam down. Oh. There's a Crucible Knight over there making his way over here. Does he have red eyes right now? I've never seen him with red eyes. That's kind of scary. Let's see if we can read this before he gets to me. The Ash of War Storm Assault. This Ash of War grants an armament the quality affinity in the following skill. Storm Assault. One of the skills that channel the tempests of Storm Vale. Leap forward through surrounding storm winds and thrust armament downward. The attack will produce more storm winds at the point of impact. Usable on pole arms capable of thrusting, heavy thrusting swords, and twin blades. Oh, I bet that would look fucking amazing with a twin blade. Where'd he go? I don't like that. Is he hiding to the left over here? Around this corner? Now let me top off, get my shield up. Or as I've been saying, start the party right. Full mana. Alright, let's do it. Ouch! Ouch! Aha, I do a lot more damage than the first time we fought, sir. And I have seven Estus. Uh oh. Yikes! That hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. You're very intimidating still. Oh, God. I got the heal off. Yikes. Oh, I did not time that roll right. Oh man, that was a really good first attempt though. A lot better than our first attempt on the, the one in the jail. That was definitely a well-timed roll. I should not have gotten hit by that. I disagree entirely. Hmm. Oh, not like that. You die instead. No. Are you serious? Dax, look what happened. Look how sad I am. Look at my face. I'm so sad. He, he feels bad for me. I'm, I'm not that sad, Dax. It's okay. I started to feel bad for him because he actually did look like he felt bad for me. I, was, I had to let him know that I wasn't actually super sad. I fucking hate Crucible Knights. I hate them so much.
There we go. Finally. Aspects of the Crucible Horns. What do it do? Uh, what do it do? Is it, is it spell? Hello! An incantation. Okay. Create shoulder horn to gore foes from a low stance. Interesting. The aspect of the Crucible Horns is one of the ancient Erdry incantations that creates a mighty horn on the caster's shoulder to gore foes from a low stance. Charging allows the caster to barrel into foes before delivering the final attack. This is a manifestation of the Erdry's primal vital energies, an aspect of the primordial crucible where all life was once blended together. Whoa. Neat. Alright. Where does this lead now? Oh, I don't recall. Because regardless of the fact that you can port to... Waypoints, like for the most part, there's still always a physical way to get back. Where is the physical way for this one, I wonder? Yeah. Well. Oh. Nice, dude. We're back at the Rampart Tower, Grace. And it only took an hour. Good job. <laughs> I don't know if I died less or more times on that one than I did the other Crucible Knight. I'm pretty sure it was less. I'm pretty sure the other Crucible Knight, if you, like, combine... Alright, I'm gonna help past me out here in the edit because I ramble for a minute and a half trying to figure out which episode I died to CK more in just from memory. But Editor Chris looked it up. Previous fight with him, I died 10 times. I also died 10 times here in part 30. However, two of those deaths in this one were from Stormhawks, so it is an improvement. And for the people that go, but this one was way weaker, so really you should have died two or three times if it's a market improvement, just, just let me have it, okay? Plus, you know, the I feel like the terrain for this one is, it's like both more confined and more awkward, so. Just, just, I'm trying to make myself feel better, just let me have it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching me die. And if you did enjoy yourselves, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on your way out. Hit the bell if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video. And, uh, until next time when we explore the rest of the castle. You take care of yourselves. Love you, bye!